Hi guys and welcome to a let's play of Dragon's Curse. Um, this is a clone of um, Wonderboy 3 The Dragon's Trap, a game I owned on the Game Gear. But, um, here we have a bit of story. You are entering the Dragon Castle. Your mission is to defeat the five goose ghostly goons to save your country. That's basically a mission I suppose. Be aware of the dragon's power as they can turn you into a totally disgusting creature. Yeah, the kind of, um, well, the only way for you to get back to human form is to fight these dragons and find the Sanamanda Cross. It has the power to cure the curse of these ugly and disgusting demons. Your battle is about to begin. So, yeah, basically, this, from what I know, because I played Wonderboy 3, The Dragon's Trap, a lot as a kid, I had it on the Game Gear. And I um, actually thought I wanted to play it again when like, we came out, and I noticed that this was like a clone of it. Um, so, from what I understand, because it's the only Wonder Boy game I've played, this, what I'm playing now, is the final level of Wonder Boy 2. I, I think I've seen a video about that, and obviously, I've got all the hearts, so I'm overpowered, I'm killing everything in one hit, and all that. And um, I'm actually going around in circles here because you're meant to go up that thing, I believe. Um, yeah. Okay, um, and obviously I'm Hugh Man at the minute. And I've got the most powerful weapons and all that. So you've got these one eyed ogres. So yeah, I played this game a lot as a kid. Um, so I can get for it okay. Um, down the left one. Okay, and then you go this way. I think. Yeah, and then this leads you to the first boss of the game, which I think was the final boss of Wonder Boy 2, and where the game ended, obviously. But here they sort of extended it, and obviously this is, this has nothing to do with Wonder Boy story-wise because it's a different, it's just a clone of the game basically. Um, actually, or did Wonder Boy 3 come first? I'm assuming it did. So as you can see, I'm just. If I get hit by his flames, look, I'm not going to die. I mean, I wonder, I mean, obviously it's possible to die on losing parts, but, um, so yeah, now collect as much gold as you can, because if that flame touches you, you get cursed and become the next creature. There's, um, I just did it, I'm Lizard Man now. Not the character from Soul Calibur, but, um, something you can breathe fire, basically. As you notice at the top, I've got my gold, which is, um, you buy things with it. Funny that. You've got those hearts, which is like Zelda, you start when well, once I get past this prequel bit, it's like a prologue, not prequel, prologue, um, I'll go down to one heart again. It's like Zelda in the fact that, I mean, you don't get a new heart after beating the boss, but there are hearts hidden about to extend your life. And that potion, it's like catching a fairy in the bottom in Zelda. When you die, lose all your health, that potion will revive you. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, that's, I'm going to explain those items a bit later when I'm actually going to need them because that fireball does the same thing that Lizard Man does. So playing as Lizard Man, it's not completely helpful. But um, Karen, this castle's falling down now, and seriously, this game is very nostalgic for me. I mean, the music, even though I didn't play this version of the game, he was green in the, he's sort of like a yellowy colour in this game, Lizard Man, but he was green in the Game Gear one. Oh God. Oh god, that was over, okay. So you jump out of here, the sky is flashing because of reasons. Um, yeah, I don't know why, shouldn't the castle be flashed? The castle's about to crumble or something. Oh, a pirate ghost ain't gonna drop anything. And here we go. Castle collapses, the sky's blue again. And here we get nice, the dialogue's different to the Game Gear version, it's like, Oh no, they got you, you've been cursed by the dragons, and now you're a gruesome creature. It's clearly aimed at young kids, this sort of dialogue. Um, you have no choice but to search out the powerful antidote of the sun around the cross, and my favourite line is coming up in the next bit of dialogue. Your success depends on your acquiring the legendary armour and arsenal to assist you in battle against the five beasts to be brutes. <laughs> yeah, I think this was aimed at kids. Oh, there's a bit more there, I haven't got time to read that now. Okay, so now I'm in a village. There it is. Um, in this, there's sort of like things that I think that's just saving, but I don't really need to save it because 
the Wii has a suspend feature. Uh, so first thing to do is go in here, drop down, and here's my first extra heart. Nice and easy. Okay, I'll explain sort of like the shop system in a second because there's um I don't go up there yet. I can't get into that door so I need the key. So first thing to do is um just see if I can remember this okay, what's in here? Okay, so what can I buy? So as you can see, 32 and 44. There's a question mark there. It means I can't see what's I'm guessing it's a sword because it's up of shield and armour. If you go here, obviously I haven't got a sword, but that's what I've got equipped. That's obviously ivory of armour I'm guessing. So as you can see I've got attack points three, the DP's defence, which is P the six. And CP, which is your charisma. So your attack is like changing your sword will mainly affect your attacks. Shield's defense, and although um, armor would change your defense slightly as well, but it's mainly for charisma. And your charisma is what lets you see um, items in the shops. So obviously, you need more charisma to buy certain items. So that's sort of how that works. See, that's why it's important to be constantly going for money because you need to um, upgrade your weapons if you want to have an easier time later in the game. So I always, um, I never really um, knew about that as a kid. I mean I knew about buying swords being more powerful but I never knew about the charisma aspect of it. So um, I actually watched a let's play of this for several you know, years and years ago because I was having trouble with this and that's when I sort of thought oh okay charisma points okay. So yeah, just some, um, and there's uh, quite a bit of um, farming to do in this game where, um, yeah, basically um, you're going to need to sort of hang, if you sort of get enemies that drop, a uh, uh, fell in the water. And here's a good thing about this game, um, not that you can breathe fire underwater because, you know, the enemies can as well. Oh, I've got another potion. Yeah, sometimes it's like Zelda in that aspect, that the enemies tend to drop items and Sometimes you can get, and it's like Mega Man as well, sometimes like an enemy would randomly drop an extra life when you kill them, that's pretty cool. But, um, got the fish face there. I don't know what the en enemies are actually called, I mean they're like Octoroks I guess, but what should we call him? Um, I don't know, um, so I call him Fish Face, that fish, so I like that name. Um, we got old Crab Meat there. Is there Crab Meat from Sonic? And we got, don't know what the hell that is, um, so we got a cloud man coming soon. Don't know if he's there, but okay, kill the little crab. So as uh, you see, notice I picked up an arrow there. I was going to explain the items when the cloud appears. Now um, these items, so you, obviously the stone. I think the stone raises your charisma. So the more stones you have, the higher your charisma goes. So I got a key that opens doors. So I've got five. These are sort of weapon. And what you do is you hold down, and or you, I'm going to try it. So I've got arrow that shoots upwards, basically. Um, there, I think it's down. I was pressed down, and then the jump button, basically. See, so I can't use it now, but the arrow shoots upwards, so you can get enemies above you. Fireball pretty much does what I'm doing here, but obviously the other characters can't do that. Um. There's a shop here, I think. But I, I need charisma to see what's in there. So I'll come back to that later, because you do come to this area later on. So that's all you came here for, that key. Um, but I didn't really have enough gold to buy the armour in the first shop. So you got fireballs that tornadoes like roll along the ground and sort of bounce off walls and stuff, so that's something to. Like say if you've got an enemy below you, you want to jump down and just throw a little tornado down there. So that's pretty cool. Um, you've got the lightning which didn't use much, I'm assuming it just kills everyone on the screen or damages them. And then you've got the boomerang which I quite like that one, you basically just throw a boomerang and um, oh, fell down there. Um, it's like the, the um, really good thing about the boomerang is it, if, you, um, if it comes back to you and you catch it, then um, you don't lose the boomerangs. As you notice, I used the arrow and then I lost the arrow. Oh god, why did I do that? 
Um, do I have to go that way to get back up? I think I do. Um, so let's get green. Yeah, and obviously the um, enemies sort of power. I think red enemies are the weakest. Then it's green, then it's blue. I think that's how the order it goes. But obviously, there seems to be quite weak anyway. So I'm just—I'll demonstrate the tornado here. Actually, I've got three of them. I've got three arrows now. Um, basically, I missed, but that's basically the tornado. See if I can hit him with it. There we go. That's a tornado. So I don't need it for him. I didn't really need it for the other one, but he knocked me in once already. Okay. And obviously, um, with the um, armor, it's not a set pattern of, um, you know, the more, like, you'll get one armor and it gives you higher charisma or automatically or something like that, because I've noticed last time I played it quite recently, the it changed when, depending on which character you are, because there are other transformations as the um, game goes on, I explain them, but a certain piece of armor, um, might be low for Lizard Man but high for another character. I'm, I'm not going to spoil the characters yet, I'll, we'll discover them together even though I know them all. So I'll buy both of those. So if we go here, look at the armour. See that my charisma and defence went up, that's quite a big difference there. Um, shield, and that puts my defence up, so I'm happy with that. And so can I see now? Okay, now that I've got enough charisma, I can buy that sword. Which I know Lizman doesn't use a sword, but still it puts my attack up. So now I'm four times as powerful strength wise and my charisma's up a bit. So that's uh, ba that's me talking about the very basics of this game. Um, those blocks there that I'm shooting fire at, um, they'll get explained later, but it's quite handy to see them. So I'm going to go through this door and we'll be in the desert. And that is for another day. So thank you for watching and I'll see you when we get to the desert world.